As a vet I get the opportunity to take my dogs out on my rounds with me which is fun for them and good company for me. But I never take them out if I think the weather's going to be hot because I know about the risks involved. Every year we get dogs brought to us with heat stroke, dogs that have been left in hot cars. And despite our best efforts, some of them die. The trouble is people don't realise just how dangerous cars are because they heat up so quickly. So let's do a little experiment. But first of all, I'll just take my dogs out. Right, come on. So, I've got this handy little thermometer here that's going to tell me the temperature inside and outside the car. Now instantly it tells us that the temperature outside is 21 degrees, which is not that hot, and yet the temperature inside the car is 26 degrees. I've been in this car 10 minutes now and it's really getting quite warm. In fact, it's more than 10 degrees warmer than outside and I'm beginning to sweat. Now dogs can't sweat, they can only pant. They lose heat by pulling in cool air and warming it up with their body temperature. And if the air is already warm, the panting doesn't work. People leave bowls of water in cars for dogs and maybe leave the window open a few inches. But that's really not going to make any difference. The temperature in this car is climbing rapidly. Right, now I've been in this car for about 20 minutes now. It's very hot, it's very unpleasant, and I'm going to get out in a minute. Of course, a dog can't. At these sort of temperatures, 38, 39 degrees centigrade, they've lost their ability to unload heat through panting. Their internal organs are beginning to heat up. It's beginning to affect the heart, and very quickly, there's a vicious spiral, and the animal is at real risk of dying of heat stroke. So my message to you is, don't leave your dog in a car. Don't cook your dog.